Got to hit record. Got to do that a couple weeks ago. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, I am running a little behind this week. Not that anybody's going to notice because I'm streaming to nobody as usual. But regardless, I am running a little behind because it's been hard to motivate. I go through these, uh, I go through these phases. And, um, and you can kind of divide my mood into five little kind of tiers. The, um, the top tier is when I know what I'm doing and I'm getting stuff done. Okay? And then a little bit below that is... I know what I'm doing, but I'm not getting a lot done. I'm trying. I'm working on it. But I'm not getting a lot done. I'm just like, I'm, I'm working on fixing the problem. And the, uh, the middle tier is... I know what the problem is. I just don't know what to do about it. And in that place, I spend a lot of time playing video games, which like keep my hands and eyes busy while my brain works on other stuff. And um, and then the tier below that, which I've been teetering on the edge of most of the week, is um, I don't know what's wrong. Like my, my concept of the problem is so thoroughly fucked that I just, I don't know what can be done. I I can't see any possible direction for the solution. But um but I, I didn't end up going there. When when I get in that place, I I watch a lot of media. I watch a lot of TV, I watch a lot of movies, I listen to a lot of music, just like I consume other people's content when that's the situation I'm in. And um I didn't quite drop into that. And then there's a fifth tier below that where I just lie in bed all day and don't do shit. I, I don't like getting there. I haven't gotten there in, in a long time, and, and I don't want to get there. I've been lucky enough not to fall down into that particular hole. So, um, the problem I've been wrestling with all week is... Well, it's this arm. I don't, I don't like how this arm looks. I just, I think, I think it looks bad. So it's like, um, this inner part right here. You know, I'm, I'm not happy with it. Not really happy with any of it, to be honest. But, um, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it, and I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to improve it, trying to make it look right. I haven't even bothered trying to do the hand yet. I haven't got the arm right. Why should I work on the hand? Um, oh, line art copy. Get those bits out of there. There's a lot of messiness in here that I need to fix. More importantly, all of this needs to go. Because uh, cause we're redoing that. So all of these, uh, all of these little details around that, those need to go. Um, so are these buttons. These buttons don't belong here anymore. 
Let's get rid of that. And um, you know what? I'm going to come into shading. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the shading. And I'm going to delete all of the highlighting. Because um, because all of this needs to be redone. It really does. The only thing I'm working with here is the flat color and the, um, the flat color and the line art. So those are the two things I'm switching back and forth between. I'll put shading in later, but right now I'm not worried about it. So we got a silhouette right now. And um, what I need to do is I need to get this. Uh, I need to get this area hooked up with the right color. Um, where does this corset sit? When we look at the design of this dress right here. We got a corset. Um, somewhere along here, where does that corset need to sit? I think the, um, let's come to our line art copy. And we'll go uh, here as the bottom of the corset. That'll be the bottom of our corset, I think. You know what? I want it to sit a little higher. I want it to sit right about here, in fact. Yeah, right there. Right at the swell. And I want it to come up to just under the breasts, right there. Right there. N not that she has much. That's the uh, that's the thing about Chio is. Uh, and let's cinch this in. Let's cinch both of these sides in. Good and tight. And then we'll pull out our eraser. We'll grab that. And we'll grab that. And we'll grab that. Because what we need here is we need And a little bulge, and then it'll come up and back to our eraser for a bit because we we'll go back to our brush and we're going to have this here and then. You know what? That's just going to come straight up here. Okay, that's about right. And then we'll come over here and we'll get rid of that line. And then this line. Again, we need to get a little bit of a bulge there. So that is the, uh, that is the edge. You know what, the... Uh, Corset needs to have a little kind of a rim there. I'll worry about that later. Um, anyway, 
this needs a little strip down the front a little placket here and that'll come up and we need this kind of soft shearing to go up the side here right about like that and Bring this down. We're gonna put Geo's little ruffle thingy right here like this. And that's gonna take some uh That is going to take a little bit of additional work because we want this bit I want that to have a um, Come down to our color copy I want uh, this corset to be fairly dark let's get the outline in having gotten the outline in we'll switch over to our paint bucket use the lasso fill so yeah this whole area here Yeah, that bit. And I'll switch over to our switch over to our eraser and get rid of these artifacts. Um that's not the eraser. There's the eraser. So erase, erase. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's uh, go back to our color copy and erase this space here and this space here. Um, we're going to redo that sleeve there. So, you now take this. Oh, I'm still on the eraser. So let's go around that, go around that. Let's go back to our lasso film. So film, switch around there, come up, around, around, there we go, back to our brush, fill in these little artifact areas here, and back to our eraser there. Helps if you actually erase from the line art. Okay. And now I want um, this white.
Okay, so back to the brush. Do I want this white? First of all, I want this on the color. Um, do I want this white or do I want this the cotton candy pink? I think I want this the cotton candy pink. And then I want the interior area. I want the interior placket. I want the placket to be white. No, let's leave it all. Let's leave it all pink. Thinking about how the uh, how the dress pattern would look for this, it would all be pink. But we do need still. Do need the bow. So thing thing would be pink, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that whole thing be pink? I think that whole thing would be pink. Or would the center of it indeed be white? You know what? I think the, um, I think the bow would be white. Let's, um, let's. Let's make our bow right here. And we're going to bring no, it doesn't look right. We want a loop that hangs down. Like so. Oh, God. Um, yeah. We'll make this white. Roll in and use our vector eraser and we'll clean up the inside. The inside of that bow. The inside there, you know what? I don't like that or that. Let's go back to brush. And uh, yeah, this, this we will make white. Okay, yeah. So back to our color copy, and we'll uh, and we'll whiten that up. Back to our eraser. Back to our line art copy. There's that bit. Back to our brush. So we'll give her a white bow here. And that white bow will give us some contrast against that cotton candy pink placket and the soft shearing on either side.
This will also need a fair bit of shading. And we'll come down here. And we'll come up here. Great work. And I'm drawing on the line art. So I gotta pull all that out. Cannot be coloring in the line art layer. Okay, vector eraser. I gotta get that bit. I gotta get that bit. You gotta remove these bits here, here, and now switch to the color layer. <laughs> God, back to the brush. Lasso fill. Let me just grab that white back. Man, the lasso fill really does make this a lot faster. And then I just come back later and clean up edges. That's like it. Scroll in and I just go boom, brush. There's a look for areas I got outside. That actually looks pretty good. Now, um, I do feel like we need some, uh, some drapery on this. So let's come up here to our line art and we'll go, uh, And we'll go just a bit, just a bit there, and we'll do a little shading under the breasts. Not a lot because it's Chio, she's kind of flat.
clean up these edges here. Clean up these edges here. And we'll back out of this and see what we got right there. We are accomplishing something. I do not know if it is the something that I want to be accomplished, but we're getting somewhere. Is this the something I want accomplished? Am I making reasonable enough progress on the image that I have in my head? Am I making am I making the thing I want to make? These are the existential crises that I deal with on a daily basis. These are the things that I constantly need to worry about, that I constantly need to ask myself, that I constantly need to question and second guess. Am I making what I need to be making? We are making progress. I mean, the um, the outfit is definitely taking shape. I do not know how I feel about this. I'm I'm having a severe bout of imposter syndrome over this. I'm looking at this and I This is one of my better character designs and I hate it. It's so bad. There is so much wrong with it and I do not like it, and I do not know how to fix it. How do you... How do you know what's wrong? and you don't know what right looks like. It's just so generally frustrating that I... I need to, I need to take a breath here. I need to uh, have a slug of coffee. Rub my eyes and just kind of think. Is it better? I think it is. I, I think I have, I think I have made the piece better. Um, Is this improvement going to um,
Is this going to deliver the kind of result that I want? Um, I don't know. Um, I kind of like where it's going. I'm not happy with that arm. I'm not happy with that hand. I'm not sure what I need to do with that arm and that hand. Wait. Black. Line art. Is that it? Is that what you need to do? This it. If I pull that off. And then <laughs> I said pull off. Is that it? Is that what is missing? Just the... Is that form there? How's the hand end up looking? The hand ends up being... Okay, we're on line art, right? Okay. Um, Need that to come down about like this. This isn't going to look very good, but I'll fix later. Color copy, brush. Standard line. Is that it? Is that what I'm looking for right there? Kinda? Line art. Black.
And again. Like our color, how's that? That hurt. Back that up. And not bad. Not bad, not good, not bad. Um, and it's gonna need some fixing. Um, I think I'm still not meaty enough on the hand. I think the, um, I think the line of the hand needs to come up more like this. There we go, vector eraser. And there, back to our line, back to our color, back to that. I don't know, we're getting somewhere, but I'm not sure if it's where we wanna go. <sighs> Hands are difficult, hands are really fucking difficult. I do my best and I try not to beat myself up too much if I do a bad job. Ah. Focus is the dress anyway. I'm liking the shirt. The shirt looks good. And we need here we need some little wrinkles. How does that look? Better, funnily enough. I feel like it's better. It does look better. I'm so deeply dissatisfied with everything that I do, and I know it's because I have done way too much study and uh, and not enough practice. And because of that, I'm um, I'm improving my taste more than I'm improving my skill. I'm still uh, still working on this book to. Uh, Get a good handle on the uh, on the clothing. 
and it's frustrating, it's difficult. I cannot read Japanese. I can translate it laboriously, but God, this language is so damn difficult. Just, it really is. But I'm working on it. Uh, the good news is, uh, if you look at this hand on the cover of this book, that is a professional artist. Look at that shit. What the hell are they doing there? And that's, uh, that's vaguely creepy. That, that's less of a hand and more of a spider. At least my hands don't look like spiders. <laughs> Oh, God. Is this an improvement? Is, is it making things better? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything half the time. I just don't. I don't. Um... I'm just not sure what I need to be doing, but I need to be doing something. It's improving. I'm doing a better job. I don't know when I'll ever do a good job, but I'm doing something that's important. I need to do more something. I need to do more doing something and less studying and watching YouTube videos and all that crap. and. I spent most of the week playing Skyrim because I did not know what to do with that arm. Still don't know what to do with that arm. Not terrible, though. You know, I think... I think I could get away with... that we'll go back to our color copy and we'll uh, pull that space in right there right in there and then we'll go to our vector eraser back to our line art copy and clean that bit up I think I think that works. Still not happy. Never happy. <laughs> it's, it's a curse of being an artist. You're never happy. And am I an artist? Good question. Um I'm better than an awful lot of artists I see online, so um, I just need to do more actual finished pieces. I need to um, need to do the work on this. This is still fundamentally practice. I mean, it's not really getting toward the finished piece that I'm working on, but this extra design, I, I think this extra design on the dress is going to matter to the final piece. And <sighs> I hope it matters to the final piece. I'm gonna be really upset if it doesn't. <laughs> I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna be mad if this doesn't actually 
make a difference in the final piece. Um, I don't know. Blake wrote a poem about this, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> The best lack all conviction while the worst are full of, I don't know, malignant narcissism? Nah, it's not. It's, it's, it was iambic pentameter, so that's definitely not the right thing. Um, anyway. Progress is made. There's there's stuff getting done. I'm not happy with it. I'm never happy with it. I need to back up the fundamentals. I always need to back up the fundamentals. I'm not good enough at my fundamentals. I've never been good up, good enough at my fundamentals. I don't think you can be good enough at them. Like you, you always need them. It's you can you can always improve the foundation of your work. You can always have a better foundation. Understand the tools you have and leverage them. That's important. Anyway, that's, um, that's almost 50 minutes. Do a little YouTube dance, like, comment, subscribe, all that happy horse shit. And, um, yeah, I'm, okay, bye.